what's going on ladies and gentlemen welcome to the channel this is the rth podcast man i'm your host nephew and i'm checking in man so we got a battle of the underdogs going on here i'm talking into that because um these are two gentlemen that don't really get the bulk of the spotlight but they're both great fighters in my opinion bro uh, you have kenshiro taraji on your left side of the screen who holds the WBC and WBA championship goals. And you have Hickey Butler right there with that rattlesnake. <laughs> What's well, probably a python on his, uh, on his neck, bro. And uh, both gentlemen right now, like I said, they don't get a lot of spotlight, but it's the lower weight classes. And a lot of guys don't like um, watching smaller guys have fights. Um, I'm a little bit different. I don't really care, bro. Like, as long as it's a good fight, as long as I think that it's going to be um, action-packed, I'll check it out, bro. And it's one of those situations where um, it's right here. And right now for Kenshiro Taraji to prove that he is the top dog in the game. But he's going up against a very durable uh, fighter in Hecky Butler, bro. I've covered Hecky before on this channel. And, uh, bro, when I first, like, when I first seen him on the marquee to try to cover him, bro, I looked at him at face value. I was like, oh, bro, this dude's going to get blistered by the next guy he's going to fight, bro. That's how I felt about him. I'm not going to lie to you, bro. That's how I felt about him until I seen him in action, bro. When I seen him in action, he changed my mind, bro. He went up against a guy by the name of Delwin Soto, who was a very tough, small little dude, bro. He's tough as heck, bro. Very tough. But he's uh, small just like them, bruh. And uh, I was like, man, it, it could be one of those fights for Hecky where he 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 might have to deal with a lot of adversity in this fight. Because Delwin like to 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 hit you with his shoulder, he'll hit you with his head, he'll hit you in the groin. He don't care, bruh. That's how that's how gritty and aggressive that dude is. But to see Hecky Butler come out on top of that particular scenario with his hand held high, bruh, that's crazy in itself. And, bruh, Ken Shiro Taraji is not very much different than a Delwin Soto fight. So, if, if if I'm seeing, I'm not saying Ken Shiro Taraji is the dirty fighter because he's not. But if I'm seeing somebody like Delwin uh, Soto who can hit just as hard as Ken Shiro Taraji stepping in the ring with Hecky Butler, well, this, that makes this fight worth watching to me. Um, Say so that to say, I like Ken Shiro Taraji, bruh. Um, he's lit. I like he got these long arms, bruh. It seems like he can hit you from afar. He can come into the mid-range, and he can go in a close range and have that phone booth conversation kind of fight. And, uh, yeah, man, he's got grit. As you can see, man, he don't mind swinging. I love his strikes, bruh. They come fast, and they come hard. Um, at, at the end of the day, to me, he's kind of like number two. I could be wrong about this. But he's kind of like number two to uh, Naoya Inoue, especially, bro, knowing that he have one L. He only have one loss on his resume. That loss came by a gentleman that knocked him out via TKO. And then the very next fight, bro, he came back and knocked that guy out in a complete knockout in a KO fashion. TKO is like stoppage, and then KO is when he couldn't make the 10 count. So saying that to say Ken Shiro Taraji is the man, he definitely has to prove, though, that he's that man versus a worthy opponent in Hecky Butler because I don't think that this is going to be a fight where Hecky is just going to, you know, bag down and allow the power to uh, to uh, have him at a fear advantage uh, going into this fight. You see what I'm saying? Because Hecky can swing his fist. He can get close to you, bruh. And if you ain't careful, bruh, he's going to get the clothes. That's how good he is, bruh. If you ain't careful, he'll knock you out. So it is what it is. But I was saying the same thing about Stephen Fulton. Well, not to a certain degree because I wasn't saying Stephen Fulton can knock nobody out. Because the dude just don't have knockout power like that. Heck, he does, on the other hand. He have 11 KOs in his career. It's not like he can't do it. He can't make it happen, bro. But uh, saying that to say, I was saying the same thing about um, Stephen Fulton and going up against these Japanese guys and um I thought that the power wasn't going to really be that big of a deal versus Naoya no way and uh yeah Naoya no way proved that to be um false in my mind and uh he definitely dominated Stephen Fulton with his power um his defensive awareness um his aggression the whole nine and it, that was nothing that Stephen Fulton can do bro 
that was absolutely nothing that he could do. So uh, saying that to say, I don't know, man, how Ken Shiro Taraji is coming. I was going to cover him in his last outing um, that he had, but the guy was like, fairly new to the sport of boxing so I didn't want to cover him in that particular scenario because I wanted to put him in the ring with somebody or just cover him in the ring with somebody where we can kind of see whether it's evenly matched now is this evenly matched I don't know it's one thing one of those things I'm going to have to like do side by side footage um, if you guys are showing that you are interested in this fight I will do a prediction show for it but I just wanted to try to give you guys a heads up that this fight is coming your way. It's going to be September the 18th, and it's going to be a Monday in the, uh, the same arena as uh, um, Naoya Noe and Stephen Fulton. It's going to be a Monday, uh, September the 18th. And I think they're going to have uh, Junto Nakatani on that particular fight card as well. So that would be pretty cool to see uh, Junto Nakatani over in Japan having a duke out too um in a particular bra i know in the uh the oh you know a particular scenario they had robesi ramirez who takes the w but Stephen fulton didn't get the w uh and in this particular scenario you have uh hecky butler and kenshiro taraji and you will see junto nakatani as well who's coming off a crazy win in his career uh this year actually so saying that to say um i want to ask you guys who do you guys see win this particular showdown when it goes down between Hecky Butler and Kenshawa Taraji. Hey, if y'all don't know who Hecky Butler is, bro, I'm just going to keep it real with you, bro. He's not a pushover at all, bro. To get to Delwin Soto was a tough task, and he done that. Uh, I think his last fight is coming off a knockout, if I'm not mistaken. just want to be honest about that before I go. Yeah, his his last fight versus uh, Widget um, Singer Porker. I don't know how to say his last name, uh, but his, his name is Widget. He, he knocked him out. Uh, he knocked him out in the first round. So, uh, yeah, bro. Yeah, I mean, I know y'all don't know who he is, bro, but <laughs> I know who he is. And uh, if if uh, Kenshiro Taraji isn't careful, bro, he could he could eat the canvas. But like I said, I was kind of saying the same thing when it came to the Naoya Noe scenario. And, bro, the Japanese fighter and Naoya Noe proved me wrong when he went up against Stephen Fulton. So, I'm not going to count out Kenshiro Taraji, not to mention he is standing there holding those championship goals on his shoulders, which lets me know that he's serious about his business. Not only that, I've checked him out. I've seen these um these uh, long fists of his, bro. He can reach you from afar. To know that he can't be pushed around, I've seen him in the blood bell. And to know that he can't be pushed around, he can't be bossed around, and he have a sturdy foundation, that lets me know that this is a fight that I want to see. This is the uh, battle of the underdogs. And uh, if you guys show me that you want to see a prediction show, bro, I would definitely do one for you guys. This is RTH Podcast. I'm your host, Nephew, and I'm signing out. Y'all take it easy, bro. Peace. RTH Podcast going live, man, with Brawl Night Champions for members only. Party chat debate for a shot at the community board champion, but remember, it's a fight, so don't get knocked out and lose your place in the ranks. Or if you're just here to be a part of the spectacle, that's cool too. Sign up for the first tier to get front row seats to each event and get exclusive content not seen on YouTube. No my tier, but don't get kicked out. See rule books for more details. Oh yeah, ladies and the legends are included if you want to spectate or go for some gold. Brawl Night Champions, sign up now.